Morning, y'all. Captain Crunch here. Just got back with the embassy, and this is what they gave me. More or less, everything was going smoothly until I got to the counter, and the lady at the counter, I guess, whatever you call it, decided that I had somehow submitted an old application. She was asking me about information pertaining to an old application. When I say old, I mean like I don't even think I had that on my most recent application for sure. If that had actually been on there, probably from one of my earlier applications from probably a few years ago, why is that actually in their system when I submitted a totally different application this time? And would have been March or April after the last decline. You tell me what you think. If I get to the counter, the first, second counter, the lady asks for my passport picture and all of that. Looks at it, whatever it is, starts shaking her head, this, that, the next thing. I had just taken that photo, what, maybe, what, Thursday, last Thursday or Friday. And uh, she asked if I had any different pictures. I said, yes. Uh, I didn't ask her why she asked, but I asked. I mean, she asked, you know, if I had any other pictures, I said, yeah, I have some other ones, but it would have, you know, not been that recent. She asked for it. Like I said, she took it, switched it with the one I had just taken a few days ago for whatever reason. Didn't say anything. Just when she put it back in my passport, I noticed she gave me back the new one, photo I mean, and put the old photo with the new uh, passport application. So when I get to the counter, the lady looks at probably my old picture claiming that I'm using old information. That photo was from the last application when I went to my appointment in March, just March 2023. The information from that application from March when I went for that interview was from a previous application she was asking me about certain things. Why? I don't know. How is it that actual application information from a few applications ago? I, I don't even know if that's been from, that might have been from when I went off to school the last time I put that information on there probably. For my student visa, how is why she asked me about that now? And y'all ask why I wonder if there's an actual U.S. embassy that's actually officially functioning here. And when you call, it's hard to get a hold of somebody in the actual U.S. to actually verify that these people are doing what they're supposed to be doing and not just some pretend agency after they have already told me, shown me at the actual security booth that the website that I had been looking at had been a false website with improper information which is probably why the last few times I've had to submit applications, although I submit my application online and pay for it online, somehow I've still been sent some type of documentation claiming to be from the U.S. Embassy people to take my document application to Scotia Bank to pay, again, another $160 fee for the visa in cash. When I went there, what just what yesterday uh, trying to get a copy of the receipt for that actual transaction for the visa they claim that although it only was what from March or April that I made that payment they don't have any record of it or the previous application uh, payment so that's two sets of applications $160 that I've apparently had to double pay for for some reason to get something like this that blatantly makes no sense and the bald head woman at the window with the glasses was the one who switched the picture now if y'all have somebody that fits that description that y'all know works at y'all US Embassy and that's the kind of thing that they doing um, uh, if y'all are cool with that I mean I'm going to tell you who to employ it but if y'all ain't cool with that uh, it's making y'all look rather inefficient, negligent, somewhat evil. Especially when, when you call the place, somebody answers the phone a lot of the times, answering it, telling people that his name is Dragon. 
Um, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what to say other than what happened. So, I know y'all listening, but like I said, if, if that's the way y'all operate or have these people operating, uh, I don't know, maybe I, I don't need to go to the U.S. So, there's that.